How you all doing? Hopefully this is the video that we are going to get a year's MOT on this Triumph Tiger. So let's get cracking. Right, so in previous videos we have done the brakes. I'm very happy with those. They're all spot on. The back one and the front one. Uh, we've done the indicators. We have tidied the awn wiring up. We have uh, disconnected the heated grips because they stay on. We haven't done the front tyre, hopefully you can see the wear bar there. There is a couple of mil before we reach that. I did buy a replacement tyre, but I decided not to change it because uh, my picks up that ain't broke. As soon as that gets to the wear bar, I'll put that one on. Or I might even source one. It goes with the back wheel profile because at some point I do intend taking this bike to the desert but if anybody is local to uh, Mansfield they will know exactly what I'm talking about when I say the desert we know the indicators are working we've checked the brake lights on a previous video I've still got to replace this lever I've still got to get a wing mirror on there which hopefully we're going to do in this video and we've got to put this side panel back on and we've got to put the battery back in and we've got to put the seat back on put the top box back on probably got to check the air pressure in the tires because I think they are a bit low and then we'll be booking for an MOT but I did get a couple of bits for Christmas uh, if you remember the uh, gear changer rubbers all perished and gone got a new one of those but also I got one of those which I think you can stick on your rear stick or your brake lever got some of those for Christmas as well which you put on your brake levers black and blue and we got this which you put on your uh, side stand to stop your bike sinking into the sand I guess uh, also got that for my shed John's garage established in 2006 and last but not least can you guess what's in there This is all exciting. And in there we have got two new mirrors. Cool, I can see you've been overeating for Christmas. Just take a look at yourself. <laughs> They're not triumph mirrors, but I think you will agree. They don't look that much different. So let's get them on. Hopefully they fit okay, they're the right threads. They've oh, got two, uh, that must be the uh, left hand thread. Screw that on there, that should screw into there. Can move down a little more of it. There we go. What I'm doing is just screwing that one out, aren't I? I've got to tighten that one up. There we go. We'll get that to there. That needs to be there. Tightened up on there. That looks better already. Two mirrors. Yes, that'll do for me. Just 
just got to get the other one on. Okay, so we've got the mirrors on. Both sides. Hello. Hello. Uh, the lever things can't get on obviously because of the ball on the end. Uh, I have swapped that brake lever back. It is a bit dodgy but yeah, if anything it's that it's got to press my brake which isn't uh, you know, I suppose if I go 110 mile an hour the wind will blow it and pull the front brake on to slow me down. Uh, also this is more for a sports bike and it uh, just won't fit on mine unless I grind some bits off and squash this tube in because it's too fat and I ain't gonna do that that little thing fits on there don't know if I like it but it'll do for now right then let's get the uh, dusty side panel back on Okay, that's the panels on. Both sides, a bit darker this side. There we go, there's the battery back in. Uh, I've changed this lever again, I'm not comfortable. So I'll put that one on. I have uh, filed the end of it and made it look a bit neater. So now I've just got to get the seat on, pump up the tyres, and that's it. Let's wait till Tuesday. MOT day. Okay, and that's the tyres pumped up. I put uh, 38 in the back and I put 32 in the front because I had no idea what they should be. The CBR used to be 42 in the rear, 36 in the front. Uh, the ZXR used to be 41 in the rear, uh, 36 in the front. And the XJ used to be 33 in the front and 36 in the back. I'll try and find out on Google, see if I can get the right tyre pressures. But anyway, that'll do for today. Okay, so this is a couple of days later. Uh, the MOT on this bike is not until Tuesday, and today is Friday. So I've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, four days to carry on tinkering with this. So I've decided... Yes, I've decided to take the crash bar off. As a lot of you probably know, the crash bar was bent on this side and pushing into the petrol tank. It looks like I've been pretty lucky, because I think that will clean off and come up pretty nicely. Yes, this is the crash bar. I don't know how well you can see down there how bent that is. It could be bent there as well because that's why the paint's peeled off but and this bracket is also bent and twisted. I'm not going to paint them now, I'm just going to 
try and straighten them back up in the vise or whatever. Because if I'm going to be riding this around, I don't want that tank vibrating on that crush bar and uh, make it a fracture or worse. Well, it could be much worse than a fracture in a plastic petrol tank, could there? So if it passes the MOT and the uh, stator is okay because I don't know if you know but I've recently found out that the stators on these tend to burn out and I have uh, charged my battery a couple of times yeah the battery was fine for the first for the first week I probably started it every day but I didn't let it run for very long but then I let it run and run and run until it got really hot until the fan kicked in and I noticed the uh, handlebar grips were red hot and I couldn't turn them off then the next day when I came out to it, the battery was flat. So I'm just praying that it's not drained the battery out while it was running. Because if the stator has uh, burnt out and drained the battery, there's going to be a hell of a lot of messes about trying to sort out what's going on. And I just pray that it just goes through the MOT and it rides there and back with no trouble. Now anyway, I'm just going to put that in the vise and try and straighten it up. Just thought I'd let you guys know what I'm getting up to before it gets to the MOT on Tuesday. So there you go. Okay, all back on. A little bit better. It's not quite as good as the other side. But it's a hell of a lot better than what it was. Like I say, they're coming off again in the summer to be repainted, so I'll have another go at trying to uh, in them out just a fraction more right then so we'll be seeing this video in the new year and uh, new year means a new name for the channel it's my app sticking right up oh like right, a right div that'd be a good name for the channel wouldn't it divvy johnny <laughs> no the divvy's gone the divvy 900 is no more so yes, it's not going to be called Road Rodent Restore anymore. It's going to be called JT Moto. JT Moto. Yes, that's right. JT Moto. I'm going to call this channel JT Moto. So yes, we've got that out of the way. My channel name is going to be JT Moto. Oh, we've got a new year, but we haven't got any new weather. Take a look outside. Yes, disgusting. Yes, it seems to have been wet like this for weeks and weeks. I don't know if you can see that there, look, but the uh, neighbour must be doing really well. They've got steam coming out the wall, which means they've got the central heating on. So yes, it doesn't look like we're going to get to the MOT in this video, but we definitely will in the next video. And don't forget, I've been JT Moto. Yes, I think I've said that enough times now to bore everybody to death. And on that note... I'll see you in another life, brother. Yes, have a great new year, everybody, and I'll see you on MOT Day.